Okay, we are now in Photoshop with our picture of tomorrow. And let's go ahead and start off with some basic editing. We're going to go ahead and do uh, actual pixels. That's by going to our uh, zoom button there and clicking on actual pixels. Um, hold down the space bar. That will give you the, the hand. You can move it around a little bit. Oops, it's not going to move. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Layer is locked. Okay, we'll just do it this way then. Being complicated. Alright, let me just open up this window a little bit more so I can get some new work in here. There we go. Okay, now, while Tamara has a, a very pretty face and very few blemishes, there's always a little bit you can do. Um, I've got a healing brush here. Um, for this size picture, I'm going to put it at 30%, and uh, let's put the hardness you know, down to 15%. And just on these very, very minor blemishes, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and click on that. And bring it down a little bit more for the nose, right there. Get rid of that. And you always want to have some skin texture there, some little small, small imperfections, just to just to let your viewer know that it is a um, really what they're looking at and it's not been manipulated too much but we're going to get rid of this, some of these here we're going to leave some skin texture in the final picture but just some of these little minor things here we're going to get rid of it looks pretty good there do that When you get too close to an edge like that, sometimes that heel brush doesn't well, play with you just right, so I'm going to undo that. Um, I probably could get rid of that with a, uh, with a patch tool, but I think we'll just leave it anyways. You know, having just a few little small pieces is not going to hurt at all. And there, that should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and... Look at that. Okay. Looks pretty good. Alright, what we're going to do now is, since I know I'm only going to use this on the web, I am going to go ahead and shrink this down to a smaller size. Um, I've got all my actions over here. Uh, I'll go over later on how to do actions, but right now I'm going to resize it down to 900 on the long side. It's going to give us this, and... So we now have a picture that is 900 pixels tall, and uh, not sure what it would be wide. Let's find out what it is real quick. Image size it is 900 by approximately 600. It's 598, but it's uh, uh, whatever 600. So uh, we're looking good here. We got the got the blemishes gone. You know, it's, it's a pretty good picture all on its own, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna play with it a little bit more and hope we don't screw it up too bad. Um, another tool I like to use is the Vivid Brush. Um, I got my my action here, but I'll I'll do it from scratch. I'm gonna grab a brush over here, and right now it's got my uh, logo on it, but we're gonna grab a different brush. Um, I need to grab that one at 17. And by using the right bracket key, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Yes, we're going to do the hair first. So, okay, we got that there. We're going to change mode to vivid light. And the opacity we need way down. Uh, well, I'll show you what happens at 100% first. Uh, real white, then we got our opacity at 100% with vivid light. That's what happens, and that's no good. That's not what we want. So we're going to bring the opacity down to, for the hair, maybe 15 or 16, yeah, 15. Now if we zoom in on just the head here, closer, that's good enough, I guess. And we'll get our vivid light brush back. Just kind of take a look at the hair. I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit. Doesn't need a lot in this picture. We got good hair light. It doesn't need a lot, but a little bit down in front here. Just to bring up the hair a little bit. 
let's go back to where we were. Now if we go back here, you can see that the hair hasn't changed too much, but it's brightened up just a little bit. Um, at this point in the editing process, you don't want big changes. A lot of little small changes are going to look a lot better. So that's before, that's after. Not too bad. We'll take that vivid light brush again and we're going to make it a little bit bigger, just enough to cover the face. And I'm going to bring it down to 7%. Um, again, we got white. And just a little off center here towards the darker side. One single click right here. Just going to lighten it up just a little bit. Again, not a big difference. Let's go before and after. You might not even be able to see this on the web. But go there and go there. Maybe even shrink it down a little bit more. And just do one quick sweep right along here. Go back a couple again. All we're doing is just uh, brightening up the face, giving us a little pop. That's good there. So we did the uh, Vivid Brush. We used the Healing Tool. Uh, we shrunk it down to web size. We've got more to do, but let's do it in the next video.